Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is using double facts. And don't forget, all your, all your lessons can be found at mrmathblog.com. If you go to mrmathblog.com, it will look like this. Okay, and then if you click second grade, that's it. So I have third grade next year and then fourth, fifth, sixth, okay. But if you click second grade and then scroll down, we just got down with chapter two. So we're going to start chapter three right here. So let's go ahead and get started with that, okay. Here's our, our common core strand for our most awesome teachers. And our question is, how can we use double facts to find sums for near double facts? So let's um, let's talk about uh, double facts, you guys. Okay, so 1 plus 1 equals 2. Do you remember that? And then what's 2 plus 2? So doubles. 2 plus 2 equals 4. 3 plus 3 equals 6. Uh, 4 plus 4 equals 8. Can you see over here these are just going plus 2? 4 plus 2 is 6, 6 plus 2 is 8, so 8 plus 2 would be 10, so 5, 5 plus 5 is 10, 6 plus 6 is 12, 7 plus 7 is 14, 8 plus 8 is 16, 9 plus 9 is 18, and finally 10 plus 10 is 20. We can keep going on forever and ever and ever, but we're going to use those to help us solve sums of other numbers that are close to our doubles here. So let's draw a picture to show the problem and then write the addition sentence for the problem. Okay, so here we go. Nancy has six toy cars. Alex gives her six more toy cars. How many toy cars does Nancy have now? Okay, so let's draw a picture. So there's six plus six. Okay, here's what she had plus what Alex gave her. Okay, remember these are um, our units uh, blocks right here. Okay, you can just draw dots, I'm sure, for your teacher. Okay, so 6 plus 6 gives us this right here, okay? And then our picture looks like this. So here's our, our 5 plus 5 right there. 5 plus 5 is 10, plus 2 more is 12. Well, we know 6 plus 6 equals 12, so Nancy has 12 toy cars now. Oh boy, I used to play with those a lot. Okay, so explain why 4 plus 4 is called a doubles fact. All right, well, doubles facts are... Uh, they involve addition in which a number is added to itself. Okay, so here 4 plus 4 is being added to itself. 4 plus 4 equals 8. Okay, so we can use double facts to find the sums for other factors. Okay, can you see that um, this 4 is close to this 3 right here? So we can represent um, uh, 4 as 3 plus 1. And then here we can use our doubles facts because 3 plus 1 is this 4 right here. And so now we know what 3 plus 3 is. 3 plus 3 is 6, so we have 6, um, uh, six plus 1, which is 7. So 3 plus 4 is going to be equal to 7. Okay, over here we're going to do a subtraction. Okay, so 6 is close to 7. So we'll call this 7 minus 1 right there. Okay, and then so 7 plus 7 is 14. So then we have 14 minus 1 is 13. So 7 plus 6 equals 13. Okay, so... So we're going to, oh, I'm going to double this number and double this number. Always double the first numbers, and then how much more or less is the second number, and that's how we write, write that, okay? So here's some examples, okay? So here's 2 plus 3, okay? So we're going to rewrite this as 2 plus 2 plus 1, okay? Because that's what 3 is, okay? And 2 plus 2 is 4, and then we got that plus 1, so it equals 5. Okay, over here, this is 4, and then 5 is 4 plus 1, so we're going to replace that with 4 plus 4 plus 1, and then 4 plus 4 equals 8, 8 plus 1 equals 9. Okay, here's 4, this is 4 minus 1, so we'll rewrite this as 4 plus 4 minus 1, okay, here's that 3 right there, 4 plus 4 is 8, 8 minus 1 uh, is 7. So you'll notice, let me go back here, you guys, they had them in all pluses on all of these, but this one, I'm going to exchange that plus for that minus right there. So you can see it did that right there. And then now we can do 8 minus 1 right there. Okay, so 8 minus 1 is going to give us 7. Okay, we could have made this 3 plus 3 plus 1 because this is 1 plus 3. So we have 1 plus 3 plus 3. Well, 3 plus 3 is 6. 6 plus 1 is, we'd still get 7. Okay, but I'm going to double this number. Okay, so 6 plus, this is 6 plus 1. So we're going to rewrite that as uh, 6 plus 6 is 12. 12 plus 1 gives us 13. Okay, 5. I'm going to double this number. 5 plus, and this is 5 plus 1. So we get uh, 10 plus 1 is 11. Okay, this is 8. Uh, and this is 8 minus 1. So it's going to be 8 plus 8 minus 1, or 16 
minus 1. Notice I changed that plus sign right there that the book gave us to a minus sign. 16 minus 1 is, is 15. All right, you guys, I hope that makes sense, and take care. Hope you did well on your last test. Take care.